Have you noticed at the store, like nowadays, there are so many flavors of candy canes? I swear when I was a kid, there was like two. It was mm. peppermint and like spearmint. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know, what, have you seen some of them? I have seen some of them. Uh, I've seen the, this like juicy fruit or starburst, like sweet and sour. I saw, I could have sworn I saw like hot tamale or sour apple or warhead flavor. Like any candy you can think of like has a candy cane now. But Which are, what would be your favorite? My favorite would, would most definitely be the uh, Warhead because I'm a huge Warhead. fan of Warhead Wait, candy. Uh, there's two. There's a sour one, there's a hot one. Ooh, so I would go one? with the sour Warhead. Yeah. All right. I mean, I like cinnamon. Mm. So there's, like I said, hot tamale. There's another cinnamon. Well, there's probably, there's probably a big red one, dude, to be honest yeah, with you. Because of the gum, <laughs> you know, like it's probably a big red candy cane. That's what my tree's missing. We don't have any candy canes. Can you get some candy? Next time we're out, we need to get some candy canes for the tree. Absolutely. So what is today? We today got... is the sixth day. Sixth day of Tagmas. Mm -hmm. Tagmas is a series in which we count down to Christmas and open a blaster every day, review it, see what we think about it, and uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> well, let's hop right in. <laughs> let's jump right into it. Mm -hmm. Got a big one. And we have, ooh. Oh, it looks like some Adventure Force. Oh, it's no. It's, it is. It is the Adventure or Air Warriors. It's an Air Warriors compound bow. This is a product that was sent in from Busby. Thank you, Busby, for sending this in. So this is the compound bow. Very unique blaster here. Here, I'll hold it up as, yeah. you, as you release it. From its, from its tube. Um, let's look at, uh, so we got some claims. Shoots up to 90 feet. We have the, basically this color scheme you see is like this year's current, like new release color scheme. Cause I see on the back, they've re-released the Predator, the Revolution, the Sidewinder, and it's all in this color scheme. And I want to say the, uh, the big demolisher, like that Gatling gun thing, which I've, I've already done a video on. Yeah, I think we're open. Where else are you holding on? Oh, right there. So it's got a little bit of operation stuff on the back. It talks about how you have to engage the little priming lock or the priming hold for, for you to put a mag in. And then you can uh, basically prime it all the way back and release it. So kind of a different operation here. Oh, it's stuck behind yeah, the it's, bag. You can kind of rip this. You don't have to be ginger with it. Oh, it's there just, we go. It's just a box. There it is. Oh, and it does have a scope. Here, I'll, I'll go ahead and yeah. get that out for you. This comes with 20 of the long distance darts. Here you go, if you want to load that. Yeah. So was the was the clip in there already? No. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. You got to hit that little, if you want to show the camera. Yeah. You got to hit that little switch, right and, then, and then you can pull it all the way back. And it should hold. Yep. And now you can eject that. And then, yeah, you can load it up and whatnot. Get this little sight off here. Well, they do. Oh, these ones have the ability to... Yeah, you can flip it and clip and it together. Clip them together. Kind of, kind of a cool thing. Although I'm not too fond of the protruding uh, pieces of plastic that stick out the side. You can kind of, they're not super comfortable to grab. Yeah. But the concept's kind of cool. And the ability to have a dual mag. It's cool. Yeah, it just snaps together. We have a scope sight deal. And of course, you know, everyone knows the, uh, or what is this, uh, Air Warriors long distance dart. Not really the best, but gets the job done. Yeah, the long distance darts are, I don't know if they're on par with Elite or worse. They're uh, not the best dart as far as accuracy. And we'll, we're gonna take this outside and we'll show you the accuracy of this blaster. I feel like, oh no, I saw the reflection of this orange and I thought it was a red dot. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, it goes on the side. Is it either or? All right, cool. Probably. For left, left or right, so yeah. it is ambi. Ambidextrous. That's pretty nice. So hit the switch, pull that back. Here you can just, that's fine. Yep. Just wanna see what this thing, what it looks like. Throw that in there and then continue. Pull it back, 
And, oh, dear God. Okay, <laughs> that first one was like, <laughs> So you hear that little and then you release. Kind of weird, here. Mm. I think uh, Ooh. <laughs> there's a key thing going on here. Number one, oh, well. if you're like, yeah, I think, I think those oh. got like tangled up or something. Yeah. Something's not right. And I, I'm going to say, I think those are for looks. Yeah. No, they, but, but here's, there's this one point I got to mention. If you're going to be running bows and crossbows and all this kind of stuff or compound bows, in your mind, you're like, I'm a quiet, I'm a quiet nerfer. I'm going to sneak up and go ahead here. Try to sneak up on me. Don't fire, but pull it all the way back. You didn't even shoot yet. It's like, I know. I know it's that whole thing with Lucha says, like, you know, when are you gonna get the sneak on or the, the drop on someone in nerf, but. Do we just double feed? Oh, I don't know, it I could did. be out. No, I did. Yeah, so hit the thing, pull it all the way back, eject the, there you go. Let's see how well this thing performs. Let's take it outside, get some accuracy checks and some chronograph. Go from there. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We interrupt this video to give you a quick message. This message is for this year, 2021's Toy Drive. For those of you who don't know, there is someone in the hobby known by Clowny Nerf who runs a fundraiser every year for kids. And essentially, this is a toy drive. Now, he runs a contest where every toy that is donated is basically an entry into a raffle. Now, last year, the participants were not as high as we'd like to see. So this year, a lot of people in the community and Nerf tubers and people with influence are working together to try to take in toys for this toy drive. Now, if you wanna help kids, you know, actually get a decent Christmas this year and, and you know, donate some toys, and then also at the same time, have a chance to win in some raffles, then this is a great opportunity for you. And just to spice in the deal, here at Flux Labs, we are donating a big pile of toys with a bunch of patches to help encourage people to give. A video detailing how to enter into this contest will be provided in the description, so check that out. And with that said, I wanna thank all of you for your help and happy holidays. Let's get right back to the video. All right, we got the Air Warriors compound bow outside. Let's see what kind of numbers we get. What's going on with this thing? Oh, there's a, there's one jammed up in there. It's the old curvy, curvy dart. You can't be shooting in there. All right, let's try this. Okay. God, oh my goodness. 51, oh. This is actually very difficult to chronograph. Come on. Let's change. Imagine running this in a war. I say that and then Brett's gonna run it and tag me with it. 37 FPS. Pretty low. I was hoping to get more 50. Air. Air. Come on, man. All right, let's see if we can hit these targets over here. I don't have high hopes. It is a little bit windy, which isn't going to do anything for this bow. All right, so we got some targets set up at about 25 feet or so. <laughs> Luna, don't eat the darts. Luna, come on, get over here. Oh, I actually got one. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it says tacticals. <laughs> sure. So in conclusion, the Air Warriors compound bow, I'm not 100% sold on. Now keep in mind, this was a free product sent to me by Busby. Uh, I, I thank Busby for sending this to me. However, this is one that I'm not 100% behind. I think, uh, I think the idea of it and the gimmick of it is cool. You know, it definitely looks really neat. There's not a lot of blasters like this. I believe that this mechanism is pretty unique. You don't see a lot of it. So I do, I do think uh, that's pretty cool that they've, they've developed something and have something that's you don't really see. So that's fun. Uh, as far as the performance of it, I mean, the FPS, I couldn't really get a good reading. I suspect this thing's around 50 FPS, which is, you know, it's kind of that, that mediocre area. Usually Busby products are a little bit more spicy. I usually see them around 90 sometimes, which is nice. They'll hit, you know, 90 FPS. So this one seems a little bit low. And then of course the accuracy with anytime you're dealing with a bow type of, you know, form factor, it, you kind of lose accuracy if you're not familiar with that. So it is what it is. In the end, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Dr. Flux and as always, happy foam flinging.